Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So almost we have covered all the concepts in the Jasmine testing course. So we have covered the matchers, expectations, test suite, these are all the things we have covered. And also we have covered how to handle the asynchronous tasks also, tasks also we have seen. That is nothing but in calculator.spec.js, how to spy on the window and these are all the things we have learned it. So fine. So the things what we have learned is fine. So these are the concepts, main concepts that involved in the Jasmine. But the another thing what we need to learn is another thing is if you try to see this speckrunner.html file, okay. So here we are having these all jasmine.js files that are included. And here we are having the source files and here we are having the spec files, right. So tomorrow if you are having another, if you want to write another test file for a, another source file means you need to include the source file here and you need to include the spec file here, right. In the same scenario, for example, if you try to see if there are thousands of JavaScript files are there in order to test that one. So you'll be having thousands of test files also. These are all the files you need to include it here. This could be a tedious job. So here, if you try to see this, this will become this file will become so much big and that will be that is not the best behavior, right? So for this one, what we need to do is we need to install the dependencies as a node package manager as an NPM package. So now it is better if you try to install the Jasmine as a NPM package and also what we need to do is so I don't want to include all the source files and the spec files here. I will create the spec file automatically the system has to recognize the source file and the spec file and it has to execute it automatically and it has to run the test. There is no need to uh, we should not have to include these all the test files and source files in a specrunner.html. So this one will be a very useful thing right why because so how many files you create JS files or spec files or anything. So you will be going on creating automatically our, our system will recognize and it will try to execute the test thing. So in, in order to include this one. So what we need to do is we need to install this Jasmine and all those things as a NPM packages instead of including like this. So let's try to, in, let's try to install the NPM packages before trying to install this NPM packages and all those things. We need to have the Node.js installed in your system. So if you if you don't have the node.js installed in your system, so you can go here and you can try for the node.js. If you type node.js in a Google, you'll be able to see one website here. This is the node.js at the time of this recording. So it is having LTS version of 16.14.0. So it, this is this one is the recommended LTS version is the recommended to install. If you click here, so you'll be able to download it. So I have already installed. So it is downloaded. So now if you now click on the download thing, so it will be, it will guide you all, the, uh, all the procedure. Just go on, uh, just follow that procedure. So uh, automatically the Node.js will be installed. So not only in the windows, you will be having uh, this Mac, Linux and all those things also it will be supporting. So if you open this one, it will, it will capture according to your operating system and it will show you that appropriate download file. So now after installing this Node.js, what you need to do is say, let's open this, open the command prompt and here. So after opening this command prompt, you need to do node hyphen V. So where hyphen V is the version. So you need to check that. So you need to see the version. So here I am having 10.15.0. So actually I am, I am using the NVM. So I will be using 16.13.1. So, so this is the node I am having actually latest thing. So now node hyphen V if you try to you see node hyphen V so this is the version I am using if I want to use means I can use the latest version also so I can use nvm install latest let's try to see whether it will install or not yeah it is trying to install so it is installing so a uh, 16th version so I don't want this one so let's try to see it so let's clear it out so right now I am using at the time of this recording so I am using the node hyphen V okay so 16.13.1 so 16.14 is the latest one so you can install the LTS version fine so after installation of this node.js node.js so let's go to the project so now here if you try to see in our lib folder we are having jasmine html js jasmine.js css jasmine.js so these are all the files these are all the these all are jasmine core files so we don't want these all things so this should be loaded from the npm package manager so now you can literally delete these all things we don't want these all things so tomorrow we don't we don't need of this spec runner file also. So now we have deleted these all lib files and all those things, right? So there is no need for us. So now what I need to do is so first we need to in order to install Jasmine as an npm package, first we need to initialize the package.json file. 
so let's try to initialize so here if i go into this one uh, let's go to, go into the particular folder so let's i am opening this command prompt here in this command prompt so this is the command prompt we are having so this is our simple calculator now in order to create the package.json so what we can do is you can use npm init this is the command we need to use it now if i try to press enter so it will ask you some series of questions so let's let it ask some series of questions so here it is asking that what is the package name in the bracket this is the default one simple calculator is the default one package name which is trying to take okay press enter so what is the version so if you want to give the version you can give it default version it is taking it as 1.0.0 so okay press enter description if you want to write any description regarding the project you can uh, regarding the application you can write it so i am leaving it is empty so entry point main.js if you want you can give it test command so if you want to have if you want to write if you are having any test command means you can give it right right now we haven't installed any uh, test uh, test case and all those things right so any test packages and all those you didn't install so we'll give this test command directly in the package.json we'll not give it here so we'll try to install some of the node back you know, package managers and we'll try to give it so right now i'm le i'm leaving this test command as empty and it is asked git repository so as we as the project as the application is already in the git repository so it is trying to take that git repository url so here i am pressing enter if you want to write any keywords or anything okay you can write it i am leaving it as an end, empty here so other who is the author of this project so here i will be giving leela webdev so we have we are writing right so we will try to give leela webdev if you want to give anything you can give it so license you can leave it like this so this is the package.json file that has been created so if you try to see here this is the package.json file okay so now is this okay it will ask you so if you try if you press enter so it will be created now if you go to the here a file will be created with name package.json file if you try to open so what are the questions that has been asked by us so everything the questions what has been asked everything is given here so the name of the project the version description main.js if you want to change means you can change it automatically here so here you will be having the test command it asks you that for the test command right so we haven't given anything so now afterwards after installing all the packages and all those things if you are now we will be giving the test command here so that if you try to run npm run test the command what you have given here it will be executed so that's it that's simple so this is how we will be installing we will be creating the package.json file in the project so now after creating the package.json file now what we need to do is we need to install all the dependencies so we need to install all the dependencies that are used for this project so in the next video what we'll try to do is we'll try to install one by one dependency so that are available that are that are useful for this project to make this test come test project to work okay hope you understood how to create the package.json so using the npm command so next in the next video we'll try to install the jasmine and all those things let's try to install it hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you